Hello. Last week I made my own custom Hogwarts house robes. You can find that video up in the bubble or down in the description below. And this week it is my cat Cortana's turn. Here's the layout of supplies. I've got the robe fabric, the lining fabrics, the crest fabric, the pattern, and all of the different notions and sewing tools that I will need, and the cat. Then I had Cortana hop on Wizarding World and take the sorting quiz to find out what house she was in. And she got Gryffindor. Fine. I decided to do the colorful inner facings for this with Wonder Under. Just took some of the facing material, put some Wonder Under on it, and ironed it on to the piece, the front piece itself had a number of issues, like the Wonder Under needed a temperature higher than the lining fabric wanted to take, so it's a little bit lumpy bumpy, but for a cat robe, it'll do. This paper is really hard to get off sometimes. I struggled. And then I did trim down the edges of these so they're nice and flush, and the same width. And then I sewed those shoulder seams to the back. And now I'm stitching up the hood. This is the second hood. The first one I drafted, I forgot to... I, I basically halved the neck measurement. So I had made a full little hood up, and then when I went to pin it onto the robe, it was comically small. So I had to start over, draft a new hood. This is that. So I sewed the bottom seam together, and then I sew them along that front edge. And this is where I'm realizing that I sewed them incorrectly and have to seam rip them apart again. I had sewn a right side to a wrong side so that the raw seam was just hanging out on the inside of the hood instead of tucked cleanly between the two layers. So here it is fixed, sewing it properly this time. Third time's the charm, right? And then pressing that front edge nicely. Now I'm pinning the hood onto the neck of the little robe. I'm just doing the exterior fabric of the hood pinned to the robe. In hindsight, I'm not quite sure why I didn't do the Wonder Under method for the hood and the sleeves as well, but for some reason it just didn't even come to mind until I was watching the footage back. And 
Now I'm attaching the sleeve. I am doing the simpler non-set-in sleeve method so that side seam is still open, pinning and sewing the sleeve in flat. And then I will sew the bottom of the sleeve and the side seam in one go. And I'm clipping that armpit corner and pressing the seams open. And I'm stitching the lining. I went ahead and stitched both sleeve linings because I have to change the tension on my machine to sew the lining fabric, so might as well knock them both out. Then I have the lining fabric pinned to the regular sleeve edge. If you want to see a bit of a clearer view of what's happening there, check out the video of how I made my robes. I finished the sleeves in the same way. And this is the inside of the sleeve. I have pulled the lining up to that inside arm side and I'm just whip stitching it down to the seam allowance to hold it up in the sleeve. And then I'm whip stitching that hood lining down to cover that seam. And then moving on to the second sleeve. And once again, sewing the lining in at the edge of the sleeve, turning it right side out, pressing it. And then whip stitching the extra lining edge into the seam allowance of the inside of the arm. Here I just have some fabric with scattered crests, so I've got the one that's for her, and I'm ironing some Wonder Under onto it. And then I am cutting it out as close to the black outline as I can, since the cloak is black, so it'll show white outline if I left one. I didn't go so far as to cut out all the little white inner bits though. Those can stay. And then I try to pull the paper backing off. It is a struggle. But eventually it's ready to be ironed on and it's simple as that. And now what you've all been waiting for, the cat in her robe. I think she's offended that I included her losing her face in the hood in the video. 
She is sitting next to me huffing as I make this voiceover. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw and would like to see more, please hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. And if you want to see what I was up to last week, that video is on the screen for you.